Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So let's get started today with a flirty date night look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started by combing through our brows with a spoolie. Now I'm going to take a dark brown eyeliner pencil by NYX Cosmetics and I'm going to define my brows by drawing a line at the bottom of the brow. This is going to give more definition to the brow. I also like to do this in the way that my brows are naturally grown. I like the natural arch. Now I'm taking Slay Watch by Tarte Cosmetics and I'm filling in the brow. I do this from the first third of the brow to the end of the tail. I always fill these in just to make sure that it looks more realistic. I feel that when you use a pencil throughout the whole brow, your brows tend to look fake. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to fan out the remaining product in the front of the brow so this way it gives a more realistic look to the brow and not that box shape that you see a lot. Now I do have a disclaimer. I do see those hands. I do know that they're ashy. I forgot the lotion. Don't judge me. <laughs> now I'm just taking the spoilie and just combing through the brows again. I'm just going to be distributing the product throughout the whole brow, making sure that it's even and it looks nice because we want our brows to be clean and look as realistic as possible. Again, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I did to this brow. I'm just going to take the product from the first third and just smooth that through and fan out the front again just to make it as realistic as possible. Many different YouTubers do their brows many different ways and no I'm not the queen of brows but this is the way that I do my brows and this is the way that I like them. I find that they fit my face shape as bestly as possible. I don't think bestly is a word but anywho. Now I'm just taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee and I'm sculpting the brow. By applying the concealer under the brow, this will clean up any mistakes you might have made. It also gives the brow a clean, crisp look. And the concealer can act as a highlight for the brow bone if you forgot to apply one or if you choose not to, whichever one you prefer. Another thing that I like to do after applying my concealer is blending it out with my finger. Again, I just feel like this makes the brow look more crisp and clean. Now I'm taking a mix of the LA Girl Pro Concealers in dark cocoa and in toffee, and I'm going to clean the top portion of the brows. By mixing a dark and a light concealer, this again makes the brows look more realistic. Instead of using just a light color concealer, which can make the brows look like they're 3D or they're, they're about to jump off your face. No judgment, I promise. Look, this is what happens when you talk about people. You messed up. Fix it. You can also use your foundation or color concealer that is close to your skin tone. Again, you don't want that highlighted glowy effect above your brows. Okay, so now it's time for the eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original one. I first apply the primer with my finger, then I go in with the Real Techniques fluffy blending brush and I blend out the product. And then I also go back in with my finger and blend it out some more. I am a blending fool, I'm telling you. The primer helps the eyeshadows last longer, prevents creasing, and prevents the eyeshadows from sliding if you have oily eyelids like me. Now taking the BH Cosmetics 88 color tropical matte palette, I'm going to be reaching for a burgundy color. This color is going to be used as my transitional color. Transition colors are used to make sure that your eyeshadow look has a more gradient effect. I'm applying this with the Real Techniques fluffy blendy brush and Windsor wiper motions. Now going into the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette, I'm going to be taking Fig. Fig is going to be placed right underneath the transitional color. This is going to give the eye just a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to be taking Cocoa Wet Fun from the Tarte Holiday Palette. It's just one shade darker than Fig. Applying this right underneath Fig in the windshield wiper motion, 
also gives more definition to the eye and we're also deepening up the look making it darker as we go now I'm going to be taking from the same palette the muled wine color this is a plummy brown type color we're going to be using this to continue to deepen up this eye look and give the eye a whole lot more definition. It's going to get better and better. Now I'm just going to be blending again with the same brush that we use for our transition color. Going back into the Tarte Holiday Palette, I'm going to be taking hot chocolate and blending that out as well, deepening up the look even more. Doing this in windshield wiper motions as we've been doing this entire look. Again, this is going to bring more definition to the eye look. It's going to be flawless. We're going to stay in the Tarte Holiday Palette, but we're going to pick up the black velvet color. And we're going to place this color on the mobile lid and we're going to begin to blend. By placing this color on the mobile lid and then beginning to blend, what we're doing is we're creating a gradient effect with our shadows. We don't want any demarcation from the black to the brown to the plums. We want this to look like all of these colors came from one color and just spread out. Since this is a date night look, we're going to spoke out that bottom lash line. It's going to be so pretty. We're going to take two colors. Going again back into the holiday uh, palette by Tarte, we're going to take hot chocolate and black velvet, mixing the two, and just smoke out that bottom lash line, the entire lash line, all the way to the inner tear duct. Look crazy. Now we're moving on to the face, and we're going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer on our face. I have oily skin, but this primer is the bomb.com. It gives me that dewy effect that I love. Now I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the color Mahogany. If I have not told y'all about this foundation, this foundation is the bomb. It's the bomb.com. I'm applying this with the Real Techniques sponge, and I'm just basically just patting this all over my face. I do have acne scars and um, hyperpigmentation on my skin, and when I apply this foundation, if I don't tell you, it gives me the most flawless coverage ever. It is just so beautiful. It hides all of the scars. It can be built up so you could just apply more and more and more and be a cake face which is fine but I just enjoy the way that this makes my face look it's just flawless now I'm going to be taking the LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn and I'm just going to be highlighting my face in the normal places underneath my eyes my forehead my nose my upper lip and my chin and I'm going to be using that same real techniques um, beauty blender and I'm going to be dabbing and blending the mess out of this concealer. You want to make sure that you blend it out evenly and you also want to make sure that you're careful when blending this concealer underneath your eyes. You don't want to remove any of that work that you put in with smoking out that bottom lash line so you want to be as careful as possible. And you also want to be as gentle as possible. Remember that the skin underneath the eyes is the thinnest on your face. So you want to make sure that you're not pulling and tugging on it. So this way you do not get early wrinkles and creases and all that jazz within your skin. And again, we're just going to continue to blend, blend, blend. And just blending out this concealer so there again, there's no harsh lines and it doesn't look fake. Now we're just going to set any concealer that we placed onto our face to highlight. We're going to be using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. Again, we're just going to be using this to do that baking method to go ahead and set everything, make sure there's no creases within our concealer, just to give it that mm, when you highlight, it's going to be the bomb.com. I always like how I look after I place the um, setting powder on my face and I haven't contoured yet. I think I look great. <laughs> Now for a little bit of contouring. We're going to be contouring the hollows of our cheeks 
we're going to be doing the temples of our forehead, our chin, and our nose. And using the LA Girl Pro Concealers in Mahogany and Almond, I mixed the two together. I'm just going to be taking it and blending this out using a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, the exact same one we used earlier. And this is when you really want to blend. You want to continue to blend. When you don't blend, that's when you see the demarcation. That's when you see those harsh lines on your face. You just want to blend and blend until you can't blend anymore until your arm hurts then you want to get somebody else to start blending for you because again it's not cute when you have the demarcation on your nose or on your face from not blending again just continue to blend and then you can just dance it out mm -hmm. <laughs> Now let's take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. This is one of my very favorite powders that I use on my face. And we're just going to powder it out. Again, this is another way to blend out more. Just to make sure, again, there's no harsh lines nowhere. Just blend it. Keep blending. Now we're going to take the e.l.f. Contouring and Blush Powders in Turks and Caicos. And we're going to start bronzing our face. Anywhere that we applied the contouring is where we want to start bronzing. You can lose a lot of your definition from your face when you're using a lot of matte um, products. So this is why we are bronzing the mess out of our face. So this way we have definition. And of course, there I go dancing again. Yep. Yep, still dancing. Now I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. blush palette in dark and an NYX blush in double dare, mixing the two. I love blush. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Now I'm going back in with the Ruby Kiss All Over Glow Bronzer, and I'm going to be using this as a highlight. I can go a little overboard with the highlight, as you see here, but we're going to fix that. Blend it out. Again, blending is your friend. You can fix anything with blending. And then... Lastly, I'm just going to set my face with the Ulta Makeup Setting Spray. Woo! Almost done. On to the lips. Now I'm going to be taking a brown lip liner by Wet n Wild Cosmetics, and I'm going to be lining both the top and the bottom of my lips. I'm also going to be filling in the corners of the lips. Now I'm going to be using the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the color Nude Flush. I do really, really enjoy this color. It was very, very pretty. This is my first time using the Vivid Matte Liquid. Um, I love the way that it applied. It was like a velvet type feel to the lips. I do have one complaint about it. I do feel that it's not very long lasting. I did drink a cup of coffee and... I did have to reapply the color, but other than that, it was gorgeous. I just really enjoyed the way that it looked. Now taking a black eyeliner by NYX Cosmetics, I'm just going to be lining my lower waterline. I know I've always told you guys it's horrible to pull and tug on your eyes because they are the thinnest skin that's on your face, but this is the only way that I can... <laughs> apply my liner please forgive me but I'm still using the exact same black eyeliner pencil by NYX Cosmetics next I'm going to be taking Miss Mango Rock Mascara I've not actually used this one this is my very first time using this one I've used the regular Miss Mango if I'm pronouncing it correctly and I loved it so I thought I would try the Miss Mango Rock to see how much I enjoyed that one I do enjoy the brush I do it I believe it said it had 360 bristles on there. It really really grabs your lashes and just separates them and applies the most product that it can. I really enjoyed that. I normally put anywhere from 2 to 3 coats of mascara on my lashes because again, I do not apply the false lashes, but with this look and this mascara, I really do think that it's ever so pretty and you really don't even need the false lashes okay so this basically completes the look after I finish putting on gobs and gobs of mascara I hope you guys enjoyed this look and you wear it out on a date night sometime see you guys in my next video bye